Question 11, we've got to subtract these two mixed numbers. And you guys might like to put one underneath the other, other like so. Um, 145 and 2 thirds minus 27 and 1 half. And just by looking at that, you might be able to tell that um, 2 thirds is more than a half, so we're not going to have to borrow anything in order to subtract. But even if you don't see that, we can still, we might as well go ahead and um, find a lowest common denominator so that we can subtract these fractions anyway. So you're going to have to do it anyway. And once we find the lowest common denominator, then we'll know for sure whether or not we need to borrow. So what do you multiply by to make sure these bottoms are both the same? About 2 times 3 here, right? And that would be sixths, right? So I multiply top by 3 as well, right? And and then 3 times 2, that would give also give a 6. So we, we, we can make both the bottoms, turn both bottoms into 6, right? So I'll multiply this one by 2 over 2, and this one by 3 over 3. So this one becomes 3 6, and this one is 2 times 2, 4 6, okay? So what we have is, in fact, 145 and 4 6, and minus 27 and 3 6. And now, of course, like you, you're going to subtract the whole numbers and then subtract the fractions, um, and these fractions are going to subtract. So, like the four six minus three six is going to give us one sixth, and I go 145 minus 27, and I need to do a bit of borrowing here. So that it becomes three. This becomes 15. 15 minus seven is eight, and then 13 minus 12 is 11. So answer would be 118 and 1 6th. Let me write them beside each other. 